smart locker not only can keep information of your bank but also can log in to your bank account. This is what I will show next. First, we toggle the server, then we go to a web page, login, and then we get some information which help you to log in to a web page. A web page, I will just find web page in Firefox. Uh, this is the, the web page of my bank and the login tab is over here so if I press this login tab then here the login page enters and I need this address for my login procedure so I copy it I go back to my free plane I find the URL login attribute and I paste the address here so you see it here to be sure I can click this link go back and see that indeed the login page is opening um, because uh, if I go here the username is already having the cursor in its field I don't have to do anything else in some cases uh, the cursor is not in the username and then I have to enter a number of tabs until it appears in the, in the username field so in this case I'm finished I select the editing finishing button and I click the little button here and I continue with adding a password because I need a password for the site. Here I can just put in my password. Uh, alternatively, I could select this little button and generate the password. It asks, it gives a confirmation question. You see, here are a number of random uh, elements. I can say that I don't want to have more than 12 characters in it. I can say that it needs uh, these special characters as an option. And then I can uh, generate again. And then you see that the password has 12 characters and has a number of special characters which are in this list. If I'm finished, I press this little button and now you see, I toggle the menu, now you see that banking has a special icon and it has a button. And if I press this button, it will go to my login page and enter my username and password for me. I'm doing this now. Look here. Some moment you will see it's going fast that it just entered the information I gave before. Of course in this case it's not the correct information because I don't want you to know my credentials. SmartLocker can open one website but also can open multiple websites in one click. This is what we are doing next. First let's unfold the, the banking, then open a new subject and give it a name. purpose is to open all three platforms at once. Then we make visible the buttons. We say that we want to log into a web page. And now the first thing to do is to find the, the URL of the login page. 
for the free plane forums. This is easy because on the free plane wiki you find all forums over here. You open one of the forums and then we have to go to the login page. And here we have the address of the login page. So we copy the address. We go back to Smart Logger. We add the address over here. You see? Uh, and then there's a very important step. We go back to the page in this way. And then you see here that there is no cursor in the username. Uh, it has to be. So what we are going to do is to press the tab key as many times as is necessary to get the cursor here. You can count with me. It will be 18 times. You see it's now so I remember this count I go back and I enter 18 over here that's it I select the finish button uh, choose to finish and then I have to add the password In this case, we are allowed to know my username, which is Jokro. And I have to enter a password, which I will do at the moment, you won't see it. I finished entering my password, so we can continue. We now go to the web page login, we select a little button and we are going to fill in the URLs of the web pages which should be opened. To know which URLs these are, we go back to the wiki page. First we find the uh, open user form, we copy the web page address, go back to free plane, fill in the address, and now I do a special action, I am copying this attribute and making a second URL. I click here, and now I have to find the next address. So I go back to the wiki. Now I open the developer discussion form. I get its address. I go back to free plane and I paste the address over here and I do it another time. Go to the wiki. I find here the issue tracker. I copy its address. Go back to free plane and paste it over here. Don't forget to enter because the address is right if you see the red arrow here. Now I'm finished. I select the finish button, press the little button and close this also. Uh, now I have here the free plane forums 
and just by pressing this little button up there, I can open them all at once. Just notice. Username is empty. It takes a time. You can shorten this time. You saw it going, and you see above that it's opening all pages. So now I can uh, switch between pages uh, one by one, and and uh, you see that. Uh, No, I'm not logged in. Oh yeah, we see here I'm logged in on this page and I'm logged in on this page and I'm logged in over here. So in this way, with one click of a button, uh, you can go to all forums at once. This makes using the logger very smart.